Well, today we've got um, David Moyes speaking to the Heritage Trust, and that's uh, David Moyes the first. So, David, how, when did you start your football career for a start? Where did you start it? Well, uh, Trinant Colts, uh -huh. that was under 14. Uh -huh. And for there we progressed to Royston, Boys Club Edinburgh. Uh -huh. For there, Trent, Trent Foresters, uh -huh. and Preston Athletic, junior team. Uh -huh. Down to Berwick for about 10 years. Meadowbank Thistle. Well, maybe I'll not mention them right enough. We'll delete that. <laughs> and Dunfermline. Mm -hmm. And back to Berwick. Right. Where I finished. Mm -hmm. So it was um, Jim Leishman that signed you from Meadowbank Thistle. Mm -hmm. He did, not. Uh. Um, and he'd obviously seen your style of play, which obviously he wanted in yeah. his team. Because I would say that you're probably. Um, one of the most um, committed midfielders that we've had playing for us. Well, I would say maybe you're right there. <laughs> you have maybe got a point, I would say. <laughs> How did the move come about then? Oh, well, that's a tough story. Mm -hmm. I was working on a, a building site mm -hmm. in Edinburgh when I heard, is Moise there? I said, oh, who is this? The Bulgians coming down. I want you to sign for Dunfermline tonight. I says, what? She says, well, I says, oh, I says, oh, nah, I says, obviously, what's the deal and all this? We'll not go into that, though, because that's a long story about tight pockets. What are you laughing at? <laughs> so, we get, so the deal, the deal, they make me laugh for me. <laughs> we get the deal done eventually. Who comes out to play. So, it's picked the team. I says to, I think it was Derek O'Connor was here at the time. I said, Derek, I'm starving, I've just came from my work. I had the working clothes on, the bits a lot. And there's a hang with you there, go through and get some. So he must have been being the tactics out, Jim. And of course, I'm sure you there, eating a pie and a cup of tea. When it comes, what are you doing? I said, I'm starving. You can't do that for a game. I said, well, I've just done it. Get Ben there out the road. And that was the start of me and his friendship. <laughs> Which was good at the time. Mm -hmm. So what was it like um, playing under Jim Lisham? Because it would be Jim and Gregory. Gregor was there, aye. Mm -hmm. Aye, he'd never seen Jim much, eh? Mm -hmm. He'd get all his rubbish on the set of his poetry. The Burns stuff and all that rubbish can, but aye, it was all right then. Mm -hmm. he, but, would be, he would be a good motivator. Aye, because he played for him, eh? Mm -hmm. That was his skill. Mm -hmm. And he spoke a lot of ru rubbish to us. But I got him motivated, aye. You couldn't argue with that one. Mm -hmm. Definitely a motivator. Because when you signed, you signed towards the end of... That's um, right. But you should have went up. 84, 85. And the Alawa game done this yeah. season. Mm -hmm. When we played Berwick out there and we beat them 2-1, they thought we'd actually go up. Mm -hmm. But somebody that's obviously spread it, Alawa had got, but we lost it. We were second, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the following season, it was brilliant. Yeah, because you played most of that season, uh, 85, 86. Oh, aye. And we ended up winning promotion at the end of that season. But uh -huh. it was a bit of nip and tuck between us and Queen of the South. Why? Mm -hmm. That was great though. Uh -huh. what did, what, I mean, what were the games like to play? I mean, it, ah, the crowd it was, was good, eh? Yeah. The crowd inspired you a lot. Dave was the 12th man, really. Mm -hmm. And they did. You were getting good crowds out there then. Mm -hmm. Some games you were getting 5,000 there. If you can't play in front of that, you'll never play. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're, in these days, you're playing for the jersey, eh? It was not to with money. Mm -hmm. There was no money there. Plus you were proud to play out there. Because mm -hmm. you were part-time, weren't you? Aye, uh, part-time, yes. And you still and your did work. Your, your, your work, your daytime work. Uh, so, what about um, training-wise? Did you just come through at night? I just, Nora and John picked us up in the town Bizzigge. Right. I didn't the drive there, eh? I came through on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Mm -hmm. No bother. So who did you play in midfield with then? We got a Thompson had died. Uh -huh. We got it, had his socks, mind the socks around his ankles. Uh -huh. He played. Uh, who else? Sometimes Steve Morrison. Uh -huh. Steve played. Ian Heddle uh -huh. and Rowan. That was about the five or, six, or four or five at four for the positions, eh? Uh -huh. But at least if you had a winning team, I never changed it much. Did he not? Uh, you can't. You can't the week before. If, if the one you played again. Right. Which was probably the best way to go about it. Uh -huh. Did he not change it for whoever he was going to be playing? Or he just no, no, nah, very rarely. Right. There wasn't much tactics either. Right. No, it was just a bit of mentality. You won a lot of games, so you just kept it going. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You kept your positions in the days. Mm -hmm. You didn't need told. Yeah. So do you think then, in the circumstances that football has, um, is not as good now as it was then when you danger. played? Why do you think so? But it's hard to look back, eh? Because you, you didn't ken if it was great games then or no. When you look at the rubbish now, eh? Mm -hmm. You say to yourself, well, we're really like that. Kind of, there's people watching us playing like that because it's pathetic now. Uh -huh. The standards drop completely. Right. So do you do you actually go to football now? Are you involved in any way? No, I went because I see there alone. Only went to Berwick last week and pathetic. We watched the first half and went for a pie the second half. <laughs> Ex-pass players playing for Berwick just uh -huh. now. Well, you were there. <laughs> um, I think left back Jordan Aru. Nah, you're right. He was with us the second half and he had a pie too. <laughs> That's another. He was the same. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> he was in uh, play, uh, play Does Blair stop? Passed him in the toilet at half time. <laughs> 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 he was just tired. Oh, unbelievable that. Any, any more? <laughs> we'll get through the marble. <laughs> 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 what the bad pies are. Pissy for your eyes. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you were playing for them, fell enough, the, the camaraderie between them. Oh, the brilliant. Players, was it really good? It was different then, eh? Mm -hmm. ah, it was like a big family, really. Yeah. Ah, oh, just a carry on. And was that. Partly down to... to Did you oh, definitely. I he just went with the flow, eh? Mm -hmm. If he's getting that, getting that out, which I would say definitely was a good thing. Because mm -hmm. you get these stricter boys, mm -hmm. you just say, well, well, F him and that. Mm -hmm. One example is Terry Christie. Right. An absolute idiot. <laughs> he was a... And there was no cliques. Right. Well, I was that's right, he was a skill yeah. teacher, but he treated you the same way. Yeah. As a, just a skill teacher. Right. And he had cliques. Right. He had them and us, which didn't work. Here he never had that. Right. So it was just... You came in that door and you came, what was going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. Plus, him, as you say, mm -hmm. Egypt, he, he just kept it going. And um, the likes of, um, I mean, who was the captain then? That would be, was it Bobby Robertson that was the captain? My Bobby, aye. Bobby. Then no, eh? Yeah. Whoever. Yeah. If Bobby was you, it'd be no, eh? Mm -hmm. That was me Bobby, aye. Yeah. Um, so the team itself gelled Quite, well. quite easily, yeah. yeah. It was quite simple though. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that, it didn't complicate things. Because mm -hmm. it would be quite hard for him to do that, eh? so it just went quite easy. Right. Who, who did you um, enjoy playing against? Enjoy? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy playing against anybody? I didn't really uh, look at anyone. Right. Nah, didn't, didn't phase me where I played against. Mm -hmm. Just get torn in about them. Mm -hmm. Did that you ever get motto. sent off? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> Did you? Oh, aye. Habs. Habs. Right. There's a story to that, I know, though. Alright, come on then. My last year was three at the time. Uh -huh. My sister came out of the game, and as I was getting sent off, she must have seen us and says, I'll be back now, it's only about the toilet, <laughs> which I never appeared again. She thought I was going to the lavatory. So that's that story, but I was very unlucky that day. Were you? Oh, yes. Why? Well, the referee. Pathetic. Why died? Boy, boy dive twice. <laughs> was that when you were playing with them, Bella? Nah, yeah. Scottish Cup. All oh, right, was that the cup game? Mm -hmm. Right. Talk about the cup games. You played in the game down at Thrive. Oh, Rovers. Right. Murder, you know. Mm. Weather was quite bad. Oh, it was terrible. Pitch was hard. Very. Mm. My. Anything else you want to add to this? <laughs> no, I'm just. Thinking about the games that you well, played against. Oh, it was against. terrible, didn't I? Yeah. I could say something, but I can't. I can't put that on camera, but we'll just keep going with the next question. Did you see the TV students? Oh, aye, that was a good deal, aye. We went to Pebble Mill at one. That was the other thing I was going to ask you about. How was that? Oh, unbelievable. Were you actually singing? Great singer. <laughs> I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh, the story of that was Leishman, Big Jim says, you don't bring drink on the bus. Mm -hmm. So the bolt to eh? we well, can't be the bolt to but it got away by murder. No. Who? Watson. Oh, what, um, Nora. Nora. Mm -hmm. Bro, get drunk. I'll carry on. So obviously they carried the, 
box the drink onto the bus, gets down there about 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. gets the, allocates the rooms. She says, we'll have to practice with song, Kenford. Mm -hmm. So we all went down to the, the bar, Guinness, about quarter to five in the morning. I says, I think we'll have a sing song, boys. Oh, they're all up for it, eh? The hokey cokey. But by this time, there was a big table with all the empties. Right, piled up. So we starts, you put your red down and then the left. So it goes on and on, we're burning all about. And I says, ah, we'll put the table in, the table out. So Watson's pushing this. Whoop. Smash. Who comes round the corner? The bold leash. Bedtime. This is it, bedtime. She says, why oh, you bother? So what's John missed the bus in the morning? His mother's watching for him on the telly. The bold leash man, you're not getting on the telly like a big baby. So John had to sit in the bunsy's corner with the hat on, Ken, sitting quite the thing. So we're training last in Villa, believe it or not, in the afternoon. But it was a nice, it was right icy, so we got away with it. So Saturday comes, we're playing with Rovers along there. Mm -hmm. He names the team. I says, well, that's strange. I'm not playing today. He says, I wonder how that is, eh? He says, I'll let you find it on the Tuesday. So I chopped the door. The Tuesday night, just a bit in a way, what you want? The boldest man. I says, I want to ken. But I was in the plane on Saturday. Well, you want to ken, did you? Well, I'll tell you, you put the table. I says, I fair enough, Jim. <laughs> I thought I'd got away with it, so I had to bolt and go out the door. See, so I ran enough, he started singing the song. So that was that, brought it. <laughs> but that was part of the Leishman's thing, though. Yeah. That's why you liked them. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they could piss the the same as you. Right. But that was the camaraderie then. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> when you were playing the games um, that season, um, did you ever think that you were not going to make promotion? No, that was a goal to get promotion, eh? Mm. No, I never think the opposite. Mm. If you go the negative way, you'll never get promoted. Mm. Even with it being quite close between... No, it was the same when I was with Berwick. It was the same scenario. We won the league with Berwick. Mm -hmm. So I had plenty of experience. Uh, probably maybe that's why I go to zoo. I had the experience of doing it, eh? Mm -hmm. So I just went for it. Plus I had the team to get it anyway. You had the young lads, as I say, Zine Heddles and all them waiting to come in. They had plenty of cover for every position, so we had it sussed. Mm -hmm. And plus the fact, we had a, had a stick of run right enough. Yeah. When they got beat with Queen of the South, Meadowbanks and that bit, we bounced back. Mm -hmm. And Gary thought he'd be Gary and that. had dig in the midfield, that's where he won it. Mm -hmm. And he could feed you out to be Bow and them and they could cross it to Watson. They had a great wee set up there at the time. Mm -hmm. So you said there was no tactics as such? The tactics was your own, eh? Right. Win it and get out to Ziggy. Uh-huh. Easy done. A lot of people say that Ziggy was as one of the best crossers of the ball that we've ever had. Actually. Well, I was a good player. Mm. You went to Ziggy, James A. V. Uh -huh. Bowie, aye. Great player. Mm. Didn't get the recognition either, though, really. Yeah. I think the, in the days it was mostly John and Norrie, eh? Taking the limelight. Mm -hmm. Especially John with his goals. Yeah. But it was a team effort. Mm-hmm. After when you, you got promoted that season, um, you went in to start um, 86, 87, and you played at the beginning of that season for about the first six or seven no. games, and then you never played for the rest of the season. Was that due to work, or, or did no. they play other, other people in the team? Yeah, right? certain things we only. Right. I wouldn't uh, go back into that now. Eh? Right. That's in the past, eh? Mm -hmm. There were certain things with contracts and that, eh? But it didn't, uh, it doesn't make it now, eh? Yeah. I wouldn't bring anybody to or start the grading and going into that at all. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it how we enjoyed it, eh, that season. Yeah. But, again, that season was another season that we actually won promotion. Aye. Yeah. Um, all right, eh? Yeah, so that you went from second to first and then first Brilliant. up. So, it was probably a good time to be at the club, then. Oh, definitely. <coughs> I actually came back near the end of it that season. I didn't just hang all together. Right. I came back and played a couple of reserve games in that, eh, but... Right. It says if you come back for Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Robertson was toiling then, but mm -hmm. it didn't work out, eh? Mm -hmm. I know you heard him done with it, though. Yeah. 
But these kind of things happen in football. Oh, right? I definitely. You know. I haven't had any grudges to anybody. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed my wee spell here and I got my wee gold medal, so I thought it would done me. Yeah, because, I mean, players... You were booked for a position to, to anyway, yeah. was to get you out of that league. Mm -hmm. That was the start of Leishman's triumphs, eh? Mm -hmm. He needed the steel in there to get him out and that, the job was mm -hmm. done in Bela. Yeah. I have no regrets anyway. Yeah. And you were a lot of the steel in the, in the Aye, team you won, that day. You won the ball in. Yeah. Passed it out, or won the man and passed it out. Uh -huh. Just depends on, on the day. Yeah. What do you think of the referee in there at that time compared to now? Mm, it's bad, eh? Do mm. ah, you think it's worse now than it was then? Did aye. the referee speak to you? I could talk to them on their first names and that, aye. Uh -huh. I had to tell you, aye. Definitely then, aye. Uh -huh. I were some characters, ref aye, probably right. Probably would be better then. Mm -hmm. Even though at the time you probably thought it wasn't, they weren't. They were mere hang with you, as you say, they were mere talkative and that, aye. They'd yeah. tell you before they booked you. Yeah. But yeah I never got, tell you what they I never got booked them. much either. <laughs> Too many to mention? Aye, probably. Just any things, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Naturally getting booked up and see it because of... Aye? Yeah. Um, so, you, did you then leave at the end of the 86-87 season and no. then go back to Berwick? Back to Berwick. Aye. And then finished your career there? Aye. That was it. Mm. So, how, so how many seasons did you go after that? After Berwick? Yeah, no, when you were at Berwick the second time. Maybe two. Mm -hmm. That was it. I could have played on, being honest, quite honest with you. I was fit enough in that bit. I think the hours went out, eh? Mm -hmm. Probably going back to Berwick, eh? It was maybe not the right move at the time. Right. Yeah, I could enjoy myself. Yeah. I've no regrets on it anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, if how did you look? How do you look back on your time here at Dunfermline? I enjoyed myself. Is that a posit positive view? Definitely, that was a big club at the time, eh? Mm -hmm. Obviously in that division, it yeah. didn't look that way, but it was a big support team. Mm -hmm. It was always a, a wee pleasure to be here. Yeah, because you were playing with the like, playing against the likes of what, East Stirling and Ambrose and Bank and, you know... That's the way they were then, no eh? Yeah. That's why you had to go to that league. Mm -hmm. And the job was done. Yeah. Okay, it got done eventually. Mm -hmm. It set the big man on the road. Well, that's right, because when he came in, it was a bit of a struggle and he had Definitely. a lot of work to do. But then you were part of the... Um, the road to where it's been. The revolution. Definitely, was. that's what it was, eh? Yeah. It was a big club. Uh -huh. When you go back, James, when you watch something years ago, massive club in Yeah. You like to see you get back to that, whether it kind of knows, you never know, eh? Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. Do you still keep in touch with the, the players that you played with at that time? I got a Christmas gift for uh, Ziggy every year. <laughs> By the way, aye, that's about it, though, eh? Right. Obviously, Norris away, eh? Yeah. Norris was a big factor, I know. Uh-huh. He was some machine. Was he? Was he? Aye. Nah, brilliant, aye. Nah. Aye, he was the top man in the boot here. Right. Because Bobby and Robertson would be quieter then. No, oh, they weren't in the same week as him. Yeah. Him, him and Watson. Yeah. Probably myself and Jim Bowie. Uh huh. Well, what about um, Stevie Morris? And then ah, he was in the New League. Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> he was too quiet. You were a wild well, man. He's too quiet, huh? Aye, <laughs> right, very. As you know, the, the sing song. What's your dad choking you? You alright? The farm back, son. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Is there, any, is there any particular game for Dunfermline that stands out for you? Stands out? <coughs> mm -hmm. I probably, when we played East Stirling here, I think we won 5 nine, I think near the end. Mm -hmm. we, got, we got promoted that day. Mm -hmm. ah, that was good, eh? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. You only scored two goals for us. Aye, beautiful. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> you had to come out with that. Eh? <laughs> you <laughs> Did you score many goals uh, in your career? Oh, no. Definitely. <laughs> 16, I think. Right. You were under 14. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm juvenile. Juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> you're, um, 
highlights was elsewhere, shall I say, rather than scoring goals. Well, better answer that. <laughs> ah, I scored two there, kid. Mm -hmm. I actually scored at Berwick. Mm -hmm. Against Berwick for Dunfermline. Mm -hmm. The Cope met Newcastle celebrating. <laughs> Had to get a bus back. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <coughs> well. Oh, dear. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that. you'll be back, you guys. <laughs> Just come out with the proof. Then they keep it. Then they had it in. <laughs> I was going to say, it's been, um... A pleasure, I hope. <laughs> well, I was going to say... An education. <laughs> but it's been such a long time since you were here. Well, and I don't know why you've never come back for higher than that. I've been asked. Someone will be asked again anyway. Don't know me. That's the foolish thing I'm thinking. <laughs> It's actually been a pleasure to speak to you, and, and I mean, I can honestly remember you playing. No, so, um, that's um, um, <laughs> the talking um, of it, it, it was um, uh, you're the type of player that is now probably. We've just died, eh? Yes, it's 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 your type of player. Dying breed. Yeah, exactly. It's not in the football. Oh, very hurtful. Yeah. To be fair, but but which is sometimes maybe we need it. To be fair, though, Davey was. Uh, he was a better football player than football give him credit for. Mm -hmm. That's what yes. I thought. Uh -huh. He definitely was like. Mm -hmm. But you laughing at He had that steel about him. It stayed out the game now, eh? Yeah. But David was, definitely. David, David, David was a better football player than got the credit for. Mm -hmm. Is there any harness you now in a toy there then? No, is that I done a wee bit of football now? Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. We've yeah. had it, James. I, you know, I would say your type of player is now. More or less disappeared. No, you, you'll get the odd. So it changed, do it, it? It is. I mean, football's evolved and it's That's changed. That's right. Definitely. And it's totally cheating. different. It's totally different now to when. It's no cheating. It's it's it, it's trained into you. Get touch good in. No, yeah, it's right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. terrible. I know that when they start the diving. Yeah. Ridiculous. Uh -huh. What would you have said to somebody if they had dived when you? Oh, you get the cracker. Get even up out of there. You toughed it. Mm -hmm. Was that never went on, no, James? That was never went on. Mm -hmm. Never yeah. seen that at all? Yeah. No. It was, all, it was always never. so bloody. Oh, and, aye. 50 50 is. Fear of fear. Aye, it was fear. Yeah. If you think back, the first one who really got a reputation for it was that wee guy at Rangers, John McDonald. Mm -hmm. and that, was, that was a long time ago, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we own, aye. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you're saying that definitely, I mean, your type of player is. is no longer around, and, and the fact that you would probably say that you were, you know, you were committed. I wouldn't say it was in it. It's not any better a game though. Yeah. The matches are no better than what it was when you played. Mm -hmm. And even going further back to Jimmy Johnson's and all them, because mm -hmm. they've been done. Fairman had won cups or better teams then, definitely. Yeah. They've mm -hmm. spoiled the game. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion, anyway. Yeah. I would say. Mm -hmm. So did you not? Did you not get involved in football at all? Afterwards? I mean, James were co-managers at Trinent. Right. The junior team. Right. That's okay. about all, eh? And that's that. Aye. Uh -huh. That's us, awesome. Right. Okay. Well, it has been good speaking to you, and, yeah. and uh, thanks for the last. No, I need more than that. Is there a blue envelope? No. <laughs> no. <laughs>